dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. You was good original crew. It's your boy DJ New Kid, your girl. Sierra Nicole. We back on the channel with another Kid and see original. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you switched it, so I, you know. That's the way it works. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, man. We got another top 10 for you today. We got 10 scariest coincidences. Caught on camera. Caught on camera. I was about to say that. I said that right. Mm -hmm. Correctly. Correctly. Show you right. Show you right for sure you right on. But with the being said, man, we, we ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. We just wanna get into these this video today and really see what this one is about, what they talking about. So with that being said, before we get into it, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go. If you want to further support, just always check out down below in the mm -hmm. description. But also, we always salute. We never forget never about y'all. Because y'all make us who we are. So salute to you coming another <laughs> day. But with that being said, again, it's 10 scariest coincidences. That's a lot. <laughs> Got on camera, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. All right. Small coincidences happen all the time. But it's very rare that these send a chill down your spine. Well, these are some of the scariest coincidences that seem to have been arranged by a higher power. These seemingly impossible situations have actually become reality and were caught on camera. And it may just change the way you see the world forever. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to look at the scariest coincidences caught on camera. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first is Bank Robber. This one comes from a news broadcast in Minnesota, USA. One day, a guy was reporting on a bank heist that happened the day before. That is when, all of a sudden, someone runs out of the bank behind him. The man is a worker in the bank, and he points over to something in the distance. The guy actually says to the news broadcaster, there's the bad guy right there. 24 hours ago, this bank in North... What? Oh, that's the robber. Uh, this is live TV, folks. That's the robber just went by. Uh, according to the bank uh, employee, so I gotta go here and call 911. I'll talk to you later. The newscaster is completely stunned and goes, oh, there's the robber. That's right, the guy who robbed this bank returned to the scene the next day. And at the very same time, the news was doing a broadcast about it. That's already a lot of coincidences right there. The bank teller chases after the guy who hops into a van. But thankfully, because of this, police were able to track this guy down. Police later arrested Ryan Lisko. It turned out he'd robbed the same bank two days in a row. This is what happens when you play too much GTA. It's a crazy array of coincidences that this guy was at the bank at the same time as the news. Robber Ryan thankfully was sentenced to nearly 10 years behind bars for robbing this bank. Greed. He got greedy. The same bank. Two days in a row, then came back a third. I guess came he was back about a third. To come back if they <laughs> and the money he got from the previous bank heists was seized and returned to the rightful owners. Body in the creek. When something big happens in an area, the news will often interview locals close to the event. That's exactly what's happened one day in Camptown, Pennsylvania, USA. The body was found inside a creek by the local police. As this was happening, some reporters were digging around, trying to find out what happened. And that's when one journalist came across a man named Matthew Haverly. He lived right next to the creek where the body was found. When the journalist first asks him about the situation, he's very surprised. He also said even though he lives close to the creek, he had no idea what had happened there. I'm like, what, what the hell's going on? And now I realize that's what they were actually doing. He also says it's sad to think that's someone's daughter, mother, or child. Sad to say that that's someone's either daughter, mother, whatever, both. But remember that quote. That's because hours later, cops realized that the woman in the creek was in fact Matthew's mother. That makes his comment about the body being someone's mother very, very creepy. Matthew said this was a gigantic coincidence. But the police didn't buy it and were very skeptical. Matthew said when he was giving the interview, he had no idea it was his mom who was in the creek. In the interview, he even said the body was probably dumped there by hitmen. Like a place where people from the city would want to put a body because most 
most likely they wouldn't be found. He said that's because it would be unlikely a body would be found there. But clearly it was, and police did not buy his explanation of his interview. In fact, they later arrested him after finding that same blue tarp in his shed. They raided his property and took him to court, and this video was even used as evidence in court. In May of 2019, he was sentenced to 14 years for this. But he still says that he was not behind what happened to his mom in the creek. World War One. You don't remember him? Uh-uh. Uh, he was all one recently but this one gave more details though this but that's sick but he honey what's that that's crazy no 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 plate one of the most defining moments in all of human history was World War I. That's because it led to World War II and then the modern world we have today. But everyone knows that the major event which kicked off World War I was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Of course, this took place while he was being driven in a limousine. This was a graph and stiffed limo. But there's a strange coincidence when it comes to this car. That is that it predicted an odd and very eerie message. The number plate of the car is A111118, and this could easily be read as Armistice November 11, 1918. Of course, that was the date of the famous agreement that ended the First World War. The car sat for two decades inside a museum in Vienna before this was pointed out by a British tourist. This is an incredibly scary coincidence, and some say it's not a coincidence, and this is all part of some kind of giant plan. Things like this really do make me question and think maybe we are living in a simulation. Suspect search. Sometimes cops want to hunt for criminals, but they don't have a photo of them on file. That's why sometimes they'll get a sketch artist to draw the suspect from descriptions. One day one of these suspects was being reported on on the TV program Good Morning America. But towards the end of the show, Robin Roberts noticed something strange. She pointed out that the suspect from a previous story looked a lot like her host, Josh Elliott. The similarities are incredibly creepy and they really do look alike. Who, was there somebody that what? he... Yes, in our last story that... Not a chance. Some say the reporter who originally reported on this story looks a lot like the suspect too. Look around and there's actually various instances of the news reporters reporting on suspects which look exactly like them. Admittedly, this is pretty funny, but if you look at it a different way, it's pretty creepy too. I wonder if a news anchor has ever been a real suspect and reported on themselves. The man in this sketch badly injured a woman after a traffic argument. Lincoln and JFK when it comes to presidents being assassinated, the United States does not have a good record. In fact, there have been six attempts to assassinate the US president while they were sitting, and four of the six were successful. But the assassinations of both Lincoln and JFK have some pretty creepy coincidences. Did you know that Lincoln had a secretary named Kennedy who told him not to go to the theater? And Kennedy had a secretary named Lincoln who told him not to go to Dallas. Lincoln was shot in the Ford Theater, and Kennedy was shot in a Lincoln made by Ford. They were both taken out on a Friday. Lincoln's assassin, John Wilkes, was known by three names comprised of 15 letters. And Lee Harvey Oswald was also known by three names comprised of 15 letters. John Wilkes shot Lincoln in a theater and fled to a warehouse. Lee Harvey Oswald shot Kennedy from a warehouse and fled to a theater. Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846 and JFK in 1946. Lincoln was elected president in 1860 and JFK 1960. And that's not even all of the coincidences about these two presidents. Okay. Is this simply a coincidence or has something been set up here? Robert interview. That one was, that one was. weird. That one kind of, it was too much of a... Right? Ah. From the names, from the, from the, 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 the yeah, that was a lie. This one comes from a news report in Gwinnett County, Georgia, USA. A reporter's doing a pretty boring story about traffic in the area. That's when she stops and interviews a random passerby. The man seems totally normal and polite and simply talks about the local traffic and then walks off. But hours later, the news reporter gets a phone call from the police saying they need to talk to her urgently. That's because minutes before he was interviewed, the man in the footage had robbed a bank. A witness actually say they saw the man rob the bank and then afterwards stop at a news van for an interview. The police used this interview as well as surveillance footage of the guy's license plate to arrest him. 
The robber, Eric Rivers, was taken into custody, and he's now in jail facing two counts of robbery. Hi how, can, how dumb can you be? How dumb? I have no words. You stopped the van for an it- Boy, bye. I can't. I can't. This one comes from a YouTuber named Jennifer Moan. Sadly, she lost her dad. But to remember him, she looks up to the sky and says, Hi, Dad. This is a nice way to pay respects, but obviously it's a one-directional way of communicating. It's not like her dad can communicate back to her. Or can he? One day, she looked up at the sky and said, Hi, Dad. That's when, all of a sudden, a glowing orb appears to come down from the sky. <laughs> Jennifer's channel is mainly about her family, not about paranormal events. But I think this is a really special and heartwarming event if it really is a message from her father. I'm sure a lot of people look up to the skies and pay respects to those who have passed on in their lives. But do you think this was Jennifer's dad communicating with her? I really like to think so. If so, it really may prove the existence of an afterlife. Convicts. We all know that when you get arrested and have to go to the police station, you have to give over your fingerprints. But why exactly is this? Surely they can just write down your name and take your picture and they know who you are, right? Well, the reason fingerprints became a thing is because of these two guys. These are mugshots of William West and William West. They're not related in any way, but they look incredibly similar. They also have the same name and were serving their sentences at the same prison at the same time. This led to a massive amount of confusion with the prison guards. They kept getting mixed up and for a long time, they didn't realize they were two separate people. So the prison had the idea to simply take their fingerprints so they could tell them apart. Otherwise, they could get confused and lost in the system. All their sentences, which were different, could be mixed up. So it's because of the two William Wests that we do fingerprints to this day. These guys were incarcerated in the Leavenworth Penitentiary in Kansas, USA. And this happened all the way back in 1903, before fingerprint forensics even became a thing. Basketball Fraud You likely think you know about everyone in your life. But what if those people have a dark secret, for example, a fake identity? That's what happened to someone in Texas named Rashawn Richardson. Rashawn was the top player in the Hillcrest High School basketball team. He helped his team beat every single other team in Dallas, Texas. He had a legendary reputation all around Texas and was a star student athlete. Or at least that was the reputation he had for nine months. But then, one day, people found out the reason why he was so much better at basketball than everyone else. Rashawn was playing against another team and was doing amazing as always. But that's when the other team's coach recognized Rashawn. It suddenly dawns on him that years ago, he coached Rashawn. This was seven years ago, meaning Rashawn should no longer be in high school. He immediately went to the school and told them about what was happening. And it turned out Rashawn Richardson was not even a real person. Instead, he was a man named Sidney Gilstrap Portley. And instead of being a 17-year-old high school kid, he was 25 years old. He's now facing criminal charges for falsely enrolling in a high school. I'm not sure how he flew under the radar for so long. To make things even more creepy, he had a 14-year-old girlfriend who had no idea of his true age and identity. And he would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that meddling coach. He was scheduled to graduate in 2020. This means if he didn't play against his old high school, he likely would have never been discovered and actually graduated. It really makes you doubt everyone you know and their true identities. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner for the scariest coincidence on this list. These was weird. That is crazy. That, but that last situation was weird, but these were, were some good ones, dog. Yeah, those were some good ones. Woo, good video. I good video, story bro. Too. That was yeah, crazy. yeah, because that story is kind of recent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's more a recent one. Uh, and, but he, I didn't know, know it was that recent, though. He would have graduated in 2020. Yeah. Is it that recent? I, I didn't think it was. Maybe so, I guess It so. gotta be, because he, what, he was a junior or senior? Was, he was claiming to be a junior or senior in high school? So, yeah, yeah it had to be. Dang, that's bro, crazy. that's crazy. Man, y'all let us know if y'all like any more of these type of videos. Let us know in the comment section down below. We love, I love, I love these type of videos, yeah. though. It's kind of <laughs> interesting, man. But with that being said, as always, y'all know how it go, man. I do go with the name DJ Mickey. This is we are we are y'all. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my change.
strong, got me run away from my promise.